Hey, hey, so you checked in. We there. Feeling good over there? We're gonna wait for him to jump on in here two minutes. What's going on, everybody? Hello, hello. We're going to get this thing started. We're going to get this thing started. We're going to let them jump in here. I'll do an introduction of Tamisha Wilkes. <clears throat> And then I'll say a little stuff and then I'll let everybody else who's a member uh speak briefly about themselves and then um and then we'll jump into uh I'll do a, a brief agenda uh a brief overview of the agenda like uh we wanna go over, we wanna go over what everybody what steps they're on and what they should do next for their next move. Then I'm gonna introduce you guys real quick for two seconds. And then we'll bust out into the um and then I'll let them know exactly how to ask the questions. And then um, we'll bust into the Q&A. We left that gym. OK. I'm sorry, I that stepped away. Hey, 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 what's going on? Good to see you in here, Tamisha. I usually can see the options. What's going on, Garcia? What's going on, Ms. Hicks? What's going on, Ms. Ruffin? We're going to get this thing started here. We're going to let everybody else jump in here.
We'll wait till everybody else jump in here, and then we'll get right to it. All right, I'm going to give it about one more minute, then we're going to get started. All righty, we're about to get this thing started here. First off, I want to just, uh, I want to I want to welcome the newest member of the group, Miss Tamisha Wilkes. She's actually passing into cosmetology for about 25 years right now. She's been uh, empowering families through the uh, natural hair education, and she's looking to get into this mobile home investing and get this thing started, man. So everybody say what's up to Miss Tamisha the newest member of the group. Welcome, Tamisha. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Nice. Um, so I'm just going to give a little uh, introduction to the session, what we're going to go over today. Today is about the Q&A, the welcome call, of course, welcoming the newest member and the newest members that might come in through the community. Um, what we're going to focus on with the questions, of course, we're going to answer any questions that, that you guys might have, but we're going to take a deep dive into, you know, what, it, what, what steps are you on right now? What level are you on? 
And then what what should be the next move for you to get closer to your next closing or to your first closing or closer to the money? OK, so when we when we when you ask questions, let's try to ask questions that's going to dial us in so we can help you get all the way to the next step so we can help you step by step to the money. OK, um, with that being said, I want to introduce all the admins that's in the group. Mr. Jay Garcia is in the building. Miss Danny Hicks is in the building. Miss Danielle mm -hmm. Ruffin is in the building. Uh-huh. And um, we're gonna have some admins jumping in soon. Some of them, um, like I said, some of them like Mark, he 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 we might catch him in the day where he's in the middle of moving the home. And um, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So uh let's get this thing started. Let's open the floor for the very first questions. Um I know that we had a question come up um, from Miss Tracy. I believe it was Miss Tracy uh, or Natanya. It was one of them. Let me just double check. But um, anybody who has any specific, any general questions that they've been they've been waiting for to be able to say, let's go ahead and jump on top of that right now. Um, I mean, um, I'm, this is Tanya. Yeah. Um, I know I had a question earlier. Um. I don't know why I feel so nervous. But anyways, <laughs> you good? Yeah, nervous for people saying. But I had, like I said, I had posted um signs. You know, we buy mobile homes. Um, to Instagram and also to one of my Facebook marketplace groups. But I, I, I had an investor to message me, just asking me what state, which I said was Georgia. But then they also asked me if I'm only um assigning so i didn't know exactly what the response should have been so that's why i went straight to um our group and i was trying to see what was the best way i should have responded to that yeah i think he asked do i reassign or something like that i don't know right now standing standard today can you possibly read exactly what he said i think you sent it to me can you read it verbatim so i don't know if i could do it since i'm using my phone uh i believe you said it said hey yeah, that's what it seems. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yes, you can read. You can read. It. You can go ahead and read it. Let me see if I. If you did you text it exactly to me? Yes, I actually. Uh, yeah, I sent it to you through um IG. I messaged it to you. Catch us all four days. I think he just asked me if I just if I reassign because he mainly deals with residential, and um, like I said, he's also an investor. Yes. And he said normally he gets, I guess, mobile homes, you know, across his desk, but he doesn't. He he basically bypasses them. Mm -hmm. well, I have no idea, but so I'm trying, I'm trying to gear in on what you're saying. So uh just to be clear, he asked you, do you just only reassign? Was that the question? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Which of course I assume he meant like wholesaling. Yeah. If all like basically wholesale deals. So um I, I answered yes, but also I, I also um explained to him, just depending on the condition of the home, I would know exactly what my strategy would be. You know, whether it be like, like you said before, you know, rent to own or just what route I want to take. But I did answer yes. So I'm not sure exactly how I should have answered. I think that was my question. I didn't know how to re really re re respond, I guess. To I mean, I, honestly, looking at the response, it looks good. Um, Who is this guy? Like that, that, I think that's going to be the next best thing to understand. Who is this guy that you're talking about? He is an, he's an investor here in Georgia, but I know he mainly deals with new construction and also um real estate property, you know, just fixing, flipping houses and so on. And I think land as well. That's why he said he um normally when he comes across mobile homes, he kind of bypasses them. Right. So I wanted to be the go-to person that he thinks of, you know, anytime he comes across, you know, a potential, um, you know, mobile home, a, pos a possible deal. So I just gave him my information and, you know, just to basically just keep me keep me in mind. And also if there's anything that I can do that I can assist him with, you know, I'm, I'm open and willing to do so. So that's I think, I think that was an awesome um reply now that I know who he is. And um, I actually got a guy that does that for me too. So um, the big thing is, I believe, is uh, starting to kindle that relationship. Um, First of all, did he reach out to you at all when you gave him the contact? Um, he just basically, he just really liked my comment. That's it. 
So I just put myself out there. He didn't really give too much information, but I just put myself out there. He liked it. So I gave it to him. So, I mean, maybe in the future he may decide to, okay, let me go ahead and reach out to her. So you just never know. Um, I didn't really. Before everybody else jump on, I want to say this. Um, I think the next follow up thing is in his inbox. Uh, did he ever give you his phone number, or you just only gave your phone number? I gave him my information. Right. Um, my next thing is, um, do you have anything right now that's available that you bypass? Hmm. Good one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where Where the deal at, buddy? <laughs> Where's that? I'm trying to come see that thing. And then, okay. You follow get that face to face with him. You know what I'm saying? Then you can get that energy right. Then when he meets you, he gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I like her. Yeah, yeah." <laughs> she at least came and popped out because he might have a couple of those people that he might be doing the same thing with, but some mm -hmm. of them might be too far. Some of them might not be serious at all. But if you can show that, hey, I I'm will I'm worth being that go to girl. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Then I believe that'll set you apart with this guy right here. I would do a follow up like like I said. Um, you know, hey. Do you have anything right now? Or when's, what's the last bypass you did? You know? Yeah, okay. oh, I'm going to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. Now, take everybody insight from this. Th that's Brad insight. But yeah, get <laughs> to the money. Yeah, where is that? Yo, where is that? Yo, I'm here. I'm, okay. I'm here. I, got you. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> what you All think, right. Jay? Thank you, Brad. You're welcome. What you think, Jay? Yeah, no, that's good. Follow up is key. Maybe he'll reach back out to me. That, that's a dream wish. We don't wait for them to contact us. You're going to hear from me once a week. Hey, just checking in, making sure you don't need this or that. But when you speak to these people, and I know you're just getting started, it, it may be a little hard. And I hear this a lot is you may not have the experience, you haven't done the deals. It doesn't matter. Act as if you belong. So when you speak to these people, speak with authority. Uh, I'm okay. not here to assist you, to help you. No, no, let's see how we. Can work together let's see how we can benefit together so that way is more of a mutual kind of a partnership in a way and it's more equally versus i'm here to help yeah is it like i'm basically doing you a favor instead of just like um yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you ain't seeking employment you're, you're yeah, seeking you. yeah okay i got i got you Jose. let me be you. clear you don't did a deal you don't did some deals before right who you you ain't did no deals yet right no. Okay. I have it. No, okay. I that's, have that's Tracy who did some deals. Okay, cool. So this, yeah, this could be a man. When when them type of people hit you up, they ready to they ready to get rid of the mobile homes so they can start their new builds. You see what I'm saying? So you looking at how you plug? How are you even available to be in this this infinite loop that they they already got their loop? I buy my land cheap, I build on it, and I sell. That's how they do it. But if it's a mobile home on there, they already know it's coming with hookups. Is coming with all of that stuff already. So, but the, their biggest problem is, do I either pay for the demo or do I make a little extra money with somebody That's by good. getting these mobile homes off? So I'm just giving you what his brain is doing. His brain doing like, you know, I can make a little extra money that can go towards the deck or go towards the concrete. You know, I can make a couple thousand with you and split it with you. So, and then if it's already in good condition, yeah, you can get it going fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brad. <clears throat> Hey, Tanya. Um, I actually was thinking of something completely different that maybe he was looking maybe to start a mobile home park and he was inquiring about that because we don't really know what he has. So really kind of just, like they said, getting that contact information, having that talk with him um, because I, I do got, get a lot of investors and when I'm dealing with investors, um mobile home investors, I'll always ask them, what is your buy box? Mm -hmm. And that buy box is, what are you looking to buy? Is it used? So I kind of, yes, he's a builder, but kind of see what he's, you know, why he's asking, kind of okay. find the root of it. Is it he wants to, he got a um, an opportunity for a mobile home park? Mm -hmm. We don't really know. We're kind of just shooting in the dark here. So I'm kind of playing devil's advocate what if he's somebody that is got an opportunity and wants to do um, infill in the park? You can do that also. So mm -hmm. as you're talking with him, just kind of drill down as to what he's looking to do down the road. And whatever that thing is, you can do all things. You are, like I say, I, I do all things mobile home and you do it with confidence. And if he is going that direction 
just kind of drill down. What are you looking for? What county are you in? Um, if it is indeed a situation like they're saying, a builder, hey, and the other piece is if he's looking to get homes moved off the lots that he's or land he's buying, you need to start making relationship with movers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. Yeah, go online and pull a list of movers in your state by county. Okay. What you got, Ms. Hicks? So I'm glad Danielle said that because for me, the first place I went Danny, your your, um, with your 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 Zoom was messing up. There you go. They don't like dealing with just wholesalers a lot of times. So my thinking was that he was asking because he wanted to know: Are you just a wholesaler or do you invest? So I'm I'm big on being honest, but I think for something like this, like everybody else said, you gotta act like you put in the work already. You do know what you're doing. So when he asks you that, it's okay to say. Well, some like and and you kind of were onto it because you said I told him you know it kind of depends on the house and that's a perfect answer. You could say sometimes I I look to flip them, you know sometimes I do assign them and that kind of answer makes you seem legit like you're not just a newbie wholesaler. Thank you, Danny. I mean, look at it like look at like look at it like Dayton. You know, you want somebody who hungry but not. And I, ew, don't you just too much. You know what I mean? You want to have some, yeah, I could do that. I could make it happen, you know? So, yeah, just think about it that way, for sure. All right. Mr. Misha, what's going on over there? I know you got plenty of questions for getting started. I did. Um. So the client I was servicing actually last night, she, um, her and her husband have land. And they are actually looking for a mobile home. They had spoke to somebody and they walked away from the deal because it was like 200 and something thousand dollars and they would be paying like $2,000 um, a month and they didn't want that. So I was trying to figure out what's the best route I could actually help her in finding something. Now, my first my first thing to that is, um, are they going to be living in this, in this themselves or is this going to be the first time investing? living okay so they're gonna be living so they sound like to me they went straight to clayton one of them yep. yep they went straight to clayton and clayton tried to bust that dome yep. yep and they walked away from clayton now uh is this in north carolina right this the rutherford you was talking about yes it's not rutherford though it's polk county yeah you know i i went to school in polk county oh yeah yeah i, I graduated polk county oh nine yeah wolverine okay yeah. <laughs> nah, that's awesome. Um, and then plus we got um uh, Miss Danny Miss Danielle Ruffin who has a dealer's license in North Carolina. So what I think the best way to do is um so is they did they get pre-approved? This is the big question. Did they get pre-approved for money? Um, I can ask. Yes, that's the write this down. That's the first thing you want to ask. Did you get pre-approved? When somebody's pre-approved, that means they got the money waiting for you to make some of it, right? And then the thing, it sounds like with a $200,000 uh, uh, mobile home. I want to say they probably did. I just think they walked away from it. I think it was probably like, because typically you don't get that far to the table unless you've been pre-approved. Exactly. Exactly. That's what so I'm I, I want to assume they... They were pre-approved. And I know like this situation, because I've been doing a hair for a while. So they got the money. Like they they got the credit. I put it like that. Right, right. Yeah, the credit is the money, which is the pre-approved. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and it sounded like to me with them trying to hit them for two hundred thousand, it sounded like to me they was trying to get like a five bedroom. Or no. Four. They was trying to just get a three bedroom, two bath. They just want a three two. And she said she's okay with the older mobile home. Okay. So yeah, I, I think they were trying to sell them the new modular, a new modular. That's what it was. The salesman got in over his head, didn't even ask the right the right questions. So mm -hmm. the next question that you that you already answered was, do they mind new or used? Because yeah. now if if they if you, see the used mo the used mobile homes, if you, if they end up getting a double wide, they gotta cut that mobile home in half, right? And so let's say I picked up a used mobile or used double wide 
for fifteen thousand, right? Let's say fifteen thousand. Let's say they they budget a hundred thousand. All right, we picked it. We picked the double wide up for fifteen thousand. Put another twenty thousand uh, dollars into fixing it up, and then there's another ten thousand for moving it. So where we at right there? That's uh forty. At right, what? Forty. Yeah, forty forty five thousand. Right. So we already halfway with the budget, and then with setup, let's just say another ten, another ten thousand, just in case they want, and just in case they want to spruce it all the way up. So I say like twenty five thousand really are like, uh, it'll cook that mobile home up, and so you, and then you could probably add you an extra twenty thousand on top of that for for facilitating everything, from mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end. So mm -hmm. they'll be somewhere around like seventy five thousand. Something like that, and you could probably make about twenty twenty five thousand. It should, and as far as finding a double wide, um, of course we can help you. Um, I, you know, and then you can hit marketplace and then start really start really gonna go on some tours because I know some people be selling some of them things, and then yeah, it's a spot down here in Spartanburg. They they typically have double wides on their lot. Is they used? Yep. Okay, yeah, you go now. Now you build a relationship with them too. You know, hey, listen, I got somebody pre approved for uh, you know, you you could say a hundred thousand, or you could say I got somebody pre approved for sixty thousand. Mm -hmm. But what can we do? How much you gonna charge me for a double wide with the move? You know what I mean? And then you 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 gotta leave a little bit of room in there for you. If not, they gonna be like, yeah, we about to take the whole hundred. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. Uh, so now you, you now you shopping with about sixty because you want to make twenty to forty thousand off this deal because right. mobile home with land deals that's when you can cake you you can you can cake some real money yeah. for them. So um that's the first question. Um this next question is would they mind a brand new one? And then you utilize Dan uh, Danielle Ruffin and she she can help you shop floor plans to them. You see what I'm saying? Cause she got the dealer's license where you can get them for way cheaper than what they is on these Clayton. Homes. I've seen them. I done been on the lots. I done seen them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the lots gonna put about they, the lots gonna the lots are basically us. Okay. Uh, but they got a place for them to come to come and come actually see it. You see what I'm saying? That's the advantage of a lot. But if but there's there's nothing that a lot can't do that a relationship can't do. Right. If you got the relationship, they are gonna trust you over the lot all day. And if they know you got your little money in it, they probably ain't even trip. They, they ain't. They probably throw you more because you came in and saved them a hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. But it's all came down to really about like what you said. What was the home that they brought that they was inquiring about? Even if it was modular, and Danielle uh, Ruffin uh, explained the difference between a modular and a mobile home. But maybe we can find another floor plan because these tell I'm telling you, these brand new mobile homes from the manufacturer, not costing that much. It's not costing two hundred thousand, and then they already got the land, so I don't even know how they even got up there. That's just me personally. So uh, it was waiting on me. It was waiting on me. Mm hmm. <laughs> that, that's all it was. It was. It, it, it was perfect it was, it was timing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hard timing. work. It, mm -hmm. When hard work meet perfect timing, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Miss Ruffin, what you got for them? this? A land deal right here now. Okay, so they already have the land. They already have land. This is a a slam dunk. Um. Yeah. It's just about shopping the model, the floor plan, mm -hmm. the other pieces. The difference between a modular. And a Mitch, Ruffin, Mitch Ruffin, can you move your your, your uh, screen down kind of like that so I can see your full face? Yeah, there you okay. go. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the difference between a modular and a manufactured home. A modular home is built according to stick built uh, housing codes. It is also made in the factory, mm -hmm. just like a manufactured home, but it's built according to different codes. The manufactured home is built according to HUD codes. Like a mobile home is the same as a manufactured home. The man manufactured home is the correct technical name of a mobile home. And mm -hmm. then when you're in manufactured home, you have your single wide and you have your double wide. And I got triple wide. And you got your triple wide. Right, Danny? Um, because <laughs> she just got a triple wide home. Uh, so that's the differences, but we're in a place now where there's no need for them to spend 200000 
they can find um, a nice double wide. And we can actually talk offline and see what we can do to make this happen for them. But sounds good. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I think once you figure out where that money at, where that where that pre approval at, because if they're not pre approved, the next thing we got to do is get them get them pre approved, right? Or you got to find out exactly what the budget is. So let's say let's just go through a little scenario. They not pre approved, but they got the credit and they don't have the money. What are we doing there, right? Mm -hmm. so me personally, I okay. You ain't got the money. You ain't got that. I I would send you because so, we got a preferred lender in here too. That works with that works with people if they got at least a you said they got the credit. If you got a 620, what we'll what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to use the preferred lender, right? And we'll be able to see with the preferred lender, we can actually shop for the land and the home for them once they pre-approve. But they already have the land. But and that makes it 10 times better. So they would only be getting pre-approved for a home and set up and maybe like foundation work. And then you know what I'm saying, and then now the big they are gonna need, and they did say that they needed uh septic and wells. Okay, now I'm starting to see where the 200 coming from. Now, now was we opening up some stuff because the septic gonna be what uh Jose probably about 10, about 10 and maybe 15. It could be maybe 10, 15. 15. Uh, let's just say 15. We're gonna say 15 on the healthy side, and then you they're gonna need well, right. Now, have anybody called up to the city and asked them, is there any uh, tap-ins? Is it a way to tap into the city? Is it a way to tap into city sewer, city well? Is they close? Is they in deep in Polk? Because, I mean, Polk County got their own sewer and city. But once you get to a certain point, you get off in the cut, we're going to need to go. We're gonna I'll, need to I'll go. ask her all the questions. I'll ask her all the questions tonight. Yeah, perfect. So write that down. Is it... Have she called? She let them call, but has she called? Probably not. Yeah, because what happened is sometimes they are sometimes you know everybody affiliated with everybody, man. So you know you can get a yeah, little. So, yeah, yeah, I know what you're case. saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I got somebody that's a septic man. I'm gonna get a cut off of that. I got somebody that's a well, well man. I'm getting. I'm gonna get a cut off of that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, but but the real the real big question is is if it is in the city. You you up to something great because it ain't you ain't you ain't doing but having a connect fee. You you know you get the connect fee and get the home there, it's it's up. And I think getting them pre approved will be the greatest thing because then they'll be able to actually get all that stuff done without burning their pocket. You know, because right now it's sounding like they're gonna be stuck into like a. We already just added thirty thousand to the to 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 that what we just said the seventy five. Now we in the hundreds without making no money. You see what I'm saying? So now you might be able to get it down fifty thousand and make a twenty thousand. You see? What I'm saying? So we playing with the numbers once we get the actual facts. So that's what I think need to happen. Are you pre-approved yet? Will you take a use or new? And we can get it out of better. I'm gonna have to drop here in a second. Unfortunately, I have my call with my agents this evening. If y'all don't mind, let me add this right here to you, Tamisha. Just uh, mm -hmm. you know, I I'm always looking for people to be their their go-to. And it's one of those things. So definitely, if, if they don't mind to use one, po post things on Facebook, like you need a mobile home removed from your property, unwanted, things like that. You know, you'd be surprised what kind of some people need gone. A lot of those dealerships that take use, even used mobile homes, may not take the certain mobile homes and not others. A lot of dealerships that sell brand new mobile homes, but do not allow any older ones to come in to be traded in. Uh, for instance, here in Athens, Georgia, Flamingo, I'm their go-to guy. The way I approached that, I went to them and said, hey, I buy a lot of old used mobile homes and I'm not here to take you, take, take your clients. But what I can do, because I know their clients go there and say, hey, I want a new mobile home only if you pay me for my old one. Well, Flamingo tells them I'm not buying your old home. Well, then send them to me. I'll buy it from them. And then you can still sell them a new one. They saw that as, OK, that's that's a win win for them. So they're costly calling these <laughs> homes that a lot of them, they don't have that big of an issue. Flamingo just doesn't want them could because they're 90 models or whatever it may be. I have no problems with it. So that could be also a source for you. Good. Thank you. All right, That's guys. Good. My apologies. Gotta go. All right, Jay. You on mute, sir. I think you're gonna be real good. <laughs> 
you gonna be real good. You gonna you gonna be straight. You just got to get some information, and then um, of course, once you figure out what you figure out, post it into the group so we all can dive in on that. I will. And I like where you start. You about to start with a good with a good move because now you, and then on top of that, we, you know, you'll be able to with, with him. What you posting those things that he was telling you to post and posting stuff, posting the different things, you'll start mm -hmm. getting people bringing you know tagging you and stuff every day. Somebody anytime somebody types like, "Hey, I need a house." Or something, man, I get tagged. People literally tag me because they know who I am. They like, yo, I'm tagged, hold it real quick. And then I'll follow up with them. You see what I'm saying? So you want to just start you start letting people know that hey, you know, I do the hair and I and I got the mobile. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you're gonna be good. You got your questions. Re re rewrite, re, re, re tell me your questions that you got so we can just make sure you locked all the way in. Okay, so did you get pre-approved first? What type do you want new or used? Um, and I need to ask her about the property if they have called the city for the tapping. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then really the question, the really the question that kind of answered that is are you in the city or are you in the county? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Though once you get the answer to those, repost those in the group and then we'll we'll tell you the next steps to take with them. Will do. Mm hmm. Uh, Miss Janice, how you doing over there? You quiet? How you doing? You gotta eat two of them. Miss Janice, are you in here? I don't know. If, I don't know. If, did she say anything about? She came off mute, but I don't know if she can. Yeah, there she go. Can't hear you. Miss Janice, just checking in. Want to see if you can get on live. You don't got to put your video on. You can just speak. Want to see if you got any questions. I am. I'm on my computer. I don't have a mic. Okay, go ahead. Just ask the questions inside the chat then. That's cool. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, switch to your phone. I know you was letting the charge. That's cool. Go ahead, switch to your phone. It's perfect. Yeah, when it comes to marketing and branding, you want to put your face out there. I say that until she get on. You want to put your face out there. That's why, like I told told y'all, I'm actually in the mobile homes shooting videos in the mobile homes. That's the best way to, you got to let people see you actually be outside with the mobile homes. You can say it all you want, but ain't nothing like a real video or a picture or really showing that you out here. What's going on? So you got in here now. Hey, can you hear me? There she go. Um, I don't have any questions. Um, I had an in-depth with uh Danielle Ruffin last night. Nice. Um, I'm going to visit Trailer Parks this weekend. So um, you did ask me that in a prior meeting, but I never got the scripting. Um, mm -hmm. So I need that. So I know how to approach. Okay, I'll get you a for sure script here tonight. I know Jose got one. Um, but I think right now, let's just act like I'm a, a property. Let's do a little role play, all right? Let's act like uh, I'm a property manager and I'm not gonna tell you if I'm gonna be mean, mean or not or if i got inventory or not it's just gonna come off the top i know what i got but you don't and i just want you to call call um you can just call call it the uh let's get what's what's the name we get we're gonna call this mobile home park what what's the no, name of the mobile home park you're gonna go see the first one um uh, i have no idea <laughs> i just know where it is <laughs> okay, um we need to get the names of them so we can write we can, it down we can say green acres Okay, Green Acres. Okay, ring, 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 ring. This is Green Acres Mobile Home Park. How may I help you today? 
Hello, my name is Janice Momo. I am inquiring to see if you have any mobile home properties available for sale. Um, well, give me one second. Let me just double check uh, our inventory here. Um, look like we only have one mobile home available right now. Um, we're asking $25,000 for it. Um, when could you come take a look at it? Um, as soon as I can meet with you, as soon as you're available. I'm only available Monday through Friday. From okay. To 5 p.m. I'm sorry. Would, can you repeat that? I didn't catch the time. Um, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay. You do a Friday at 5 p.m. Okay. Friday is when we're closing. Can you pick another time? How about Thursday? What time would you like? 4.30. Okay. Now, are you looking to live here or are you looking to, are you trying to sublease or, or wholesale or something like that? I'm not looking to live there. I'm just looking to buy and maybe sublease. Oh, yeah. We don't work. We don't work with mobile home investors. We don't work with uh, people who are doing that. Mm -mm. Boss wouldn't like that. Okay. Um, but you do work with wholesalers. No, we want people who's gonna plan on living here forever. Okay, well, thank you for your time. All right, bye bye. Bye. You know how I would have flipped the script on them. I would have asked them this. Write this down. I would ask them this. That's why I wanted to play it nice, because this what that's what they do. They play it nice until it's time to get into the nitty-gritty. So if I was you, the first thing I'll write down is um how long has that mobile home been vacant? Even though okay. they, now they know who I am, but now, okay, you want to do that? I got something for that. How long the mobile home been vacant over there? And then I probably would have been like uh, three, four months now. Okay. And um, how much you say lot, what rent was, uh, you know, that's the next one. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to say it's, it's $400 a month. So four, eight, and I literally counted out four, eight, 12. So you, you guys lost already twelve hundred dollars uh in revenue a month and then a potential four times twelve, whatever that is, a mm. month, a, a year. Um, and and it looks like you guys uh have plenty openings because you did because you said anytime between Monday through Friday, am I correct? Right. You know, that's how you want to run that. And then if they'd be like, Yeah, um, yeah, but this is the next question that I asked them. If I could bring you a tenant that will stay forever, would, would would that be out of the question? Okay. If they say no, that no, we still don't want to deal with that. We don't like to deal with that. We had bad problems with somebody uh, before who we let come in and try to bring tenants. Okay, but did that person bring the tenant who was going to be pre 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 approved pre vetted and was going to bring cash and not try to do any type of financing with you guys okay see now 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 you're getting them like this like nah I ain't do all that make them think about it yeah and that's a little nice aggression <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like I'm just asking okay you're done with me but but can you answer this and then now they might be like, well, I need to talk to, you know, because the person answering the phone ain't the boss. All right. They got layers. You got the phone taker and you got the uh, you got the manager who's over the all the people handling the phones. And then you got the person who owned the park. Right. OK, so so um, you you might want to just get to it. You know, if they get the moving like that, hey, if they didn't, if they're not saying, hey, I'm going to. um." I'm gonna uh have to talk to somebody be like, well, is it right that is it right that you pass their phone number uh over to me and then maybe I could just maybe explain my process a little more to them? If they'd be like, no, nah, I just can't give the phone number out. Okay, what time do they what time is the manager usually there? Well, okay, so don't don't take the Okay, so I got it. Don't take the hard no. Oh no, we ain't we ain't playing the numbers game. It's all about this is sales. This is like 
this is like you can really you can really change people's mind by just asking the right questions. Asking the right questions is gonna take you farther in life than anything. I ain't even just talking mobile home investing. I'm just talking about in, in life. Being able to ask a good question will get you a good answer, you know? Okay. Got it. All right, let's run it back. Ring ring. Hello, my name is Janice Momo. I was inquiring to see if you had any um properties available for sale. Yeah, um, we actually have five different mobile homes for sale right now. Um, are you looking to um to purchase? Are you when you when can you come by? Come check it out. I'm looking to purchase. Um, what's your availability? When are you open? What are your hours? Um, right now, Monday through Friday, um, eight a.m. to uh five p.m. Okay, can we do Thursday at four p.m.? Um, I usually try to start getting out of the office by like four, honestly, but I wouldn't mind it. Okay, I can work with you. How about three thirty? Yeah, that sounds a little better. You know, I gotta go get the kids at at five. Now, um, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Are you a, a wholesaler by chance? Uh, because you, we don't really work with those. Uh, are you planning on living here with your family? You know, how many people you plan on staying with here? No, I do not plan on living there, but I can bring you a good tenant to live there. Okay. Um, we really just don't typically like to work with any type of wholesalers because we don't had a bunch of we don't had a bunch of bad blood with a couple of uh, wholesalers, just to be honest. Okay, you got me right there. How did you get, <laughs> how did we get from that to wholesalers? Okay, what I would do in that situation, I literally would ask. Um, well, let me ask you a question. Um, what's the lot rent? So, okay, come back with the the money thing and how long is it? Well, I'm, about to, I'm about to dig in them pockets now. Okay, right. You told me no. Let me let me let me do the math on how much you. How much did you telling me no is, me is is messing you up? Okay. And then, so let's go from there. Um, Yeah, we typically just don't work with wholesalers. We got bad blood with them. Okay, can I ask you a question? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am, for sure. How long has the home been sitting? Um, Well, all five homes has been sitting for about Two of them was evicted, was evicted this month. The rest of them about two more months. So every one of them for about two months now. And how much is the lot rent? Well, right now um, we're charging $450 a month. So you have five vacant homes um, with lot rents of $450 a month? Um, yes, yes, we do right now. Um, that's why we're so just focused on people who are going to actually stay forever. Okay. Well, as I stated earlier, I can bring, I can have a pre-approved and support the purchase of cash and have a tenant that would stay forever. Now, how you plan on doing this? Because the last person, they told me that they was going to be able to help us out. Well, I, I, I'm going to vet my tenant. I'm going to make sure that's going to be a good tenant for you. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Usually our manager... I will usually have to probably have to speak to the manager or something about this type of stuff. Okay, well, I'll be happy to speak to the manager. Um, may I have the manager's contact information? Uh, I can't just give it out like that. Okay, when is the manager um in office or available? Well, she usually tries to come here at least once or twice a, um, a week, uh, depending on if she's not at the other parks. Okay. Well, how about we exchange information? Um, I'd be happy for you to call me when the manager is in the office so I can speak with the manager and have a meeting with the manager about those five empty mobile homes. 
Yeah, I got your phone number right here off you, the one you just called off of. Um, yeah, I'll give you a call back. Okay, and do you I mind verifying that phone number that you have for me? Yeah, uh, it'll be on our caller ID, and uh, and I only can promise if I call back if she's interested. What days does she normally come in the office if she's not at other mobile home parks when she's there? Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so since I have your contact information, I will check with check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays for to see if the manager is in the office. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, I don't consider that a major L right there because I'm hitting you with the shit. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> but, hey, they get nasty. They get nasty. Because nowadays you got some managers that's that's profit, profiting off of selling uh, uh, homes for the parks, too. And they don't want nobody coming in taking a little extra thousand or two uh, for, for getting the house off. So you got to be a little aggressive. You got to be a little on top of it. Like, like uh, Danny, get on here and explain what you just wrote in the chat. But that was awesome right there. I, I don't call that a loss. At, but, but at least you push the bar instead of just being like, all right, all right shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now it's like, yeah, yo, we might need to call that one girl back, who was popping at, was popping it about. She got the cash purchase, personal gonna be here forever. I at least got to mention it to boss, cause if, she, cause now they listen, looking at it like, yo, she might mess around and get in touch with her, and then they gonna be looking at me like, why you ain't refer her, you know? Exactly. Mm hmm. Miss Hicks. Uh, no, I mean, uh, good points. And so I, for over almost two years, I worked with a community owner. He had 12 communities. His, all of his managers got commission on sales of the homes. Now I was part of the team. I wasn't a wholesaler at that point. He took me on as director of sales. So it was different for me, but I, Brad is a hundred percent on point. These managers, most of them won't even like pick up the phone. It's ridiculous. And mm -hmm. the ones who the ones who are motivated to make money, yeah, they'll they'll keep you as far away as possible. The ones who aren't, they just don't care. They, you know, they're happy making their fourteen dollars an hour, and yeah, I mean that that's what he was paying them. Um, so you know, be careful with that. Yeah, definitely try to find who's in charge. The the owners of the park don't have a lot of time. Um, I was trying to help a wholesaler one time. She was new. She was telling me the conversation she was having with the the park manager or the owner, I'm sorry. And she was way too pushy, like in that she was like, well, okay, I'll come by right now. And he said, no, I'm busy. And she would say, no, no, I'll come by now. So you have to find that balance of being pushy, getting your way. But also if you're dealing with somebody who's in charge, respecting their time, you know, right. and, and, and then I kind of put in the chat too. I'm, I'm a salesperson, you know, um, and I'm, I'm a little bit different. I'm not that pushy kind of salesperson so much. I'm more, I like to empathize. So in addition to what Brad said, I would, if, if, if a park manager said to me, we had bad experience with wholesalers, I would say, oh, I completely understand. I have seen some deals go, go so wrong, you know, and um, that's why I re I really pride myself in making sure I get you a long-term tenant, things like that. So kind of acknowledge that and show that you're different. Okay, got you. That's good advice. <laughs> Danny, your kid in the background. I know, funny. <laughs> he in the window. That's what happens <laughs> nice. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's funny. But yeah, yeah. And then, uh, man, have fun with this stuff, man. These people don't dictate your life. You know what I'm saying? They don't, di they don't, they don't dictate your life, you know? That's why I, I just like to smile and just get the, let's get busy. Yeah, yeah. What's the lot rent look like then? You know? And then um, the biggest thing is, uh, to me, is there's nothing like just pulling up. I swear the pull-up game is crazy. When you could just pull up at the manager spot, the, the main manager office, you can't just hang up. Now we got to talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, now we got to talk. And then try not to go from the first through the tenth, because only thing them managers is thinking about and them phone people thinking about is collecting. 
You see what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. brain ain't even on trying to sell no homes. Only thing they thinking about is I got to collect this lot rent. Uh, if they see your face, they like, yo, do you got a lot rent to pay? That's what they looking like, you know? So you go somewhere between like the 10th through the 30th, when everybody need to write this down around the 10th to the 30th, somewhere around that time. Okay. That's when you can really get some good leverage because now they can, they, they finally breathe in a little bit and now they can actually answer regular calls and, 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 and maybe look at the sheet and see the vacant lid. Like, hell, we ain't moved no homes yet. You know, but that the first through the 10th, they on demon time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you got it though, because you got the vibes. You just got to just, now you just got to put the, and then I'll get you a for sure script, but I'm telling you, ain't no script going to do it as good as you really just like practicing. Just like but I, hope to, I hope to get my uh feet wet with it, at least talking yeah. and have conversation this weekend. Uh, it's the only thing that's going to make it, I mean, you know, get it right is just to do it. I swear one of the best things is uh being kind of like a situation that Tamisha in is when you actually have a person who wants something and they came straight to you for it. You know, even like if somebody who want to sell a house, they come to you because they know they like, yo, I need you to sell this or I, you know, somebody, somebody refer you. There's nothing better than a referral. I'm telling you, when somebody refer you, it's guaranteed money if you can figure out what they going, what they want. And then what you gotta realize, what y'all have in this culture, is always people who we, who we can always hit up to make sure it happens. Okay. Yeah, you got this. I say start with one, get a vibe for it, um, and, and, and write notes on how the conversation went. You know. I will do. I'll have my notepad with me. <laughs> yeah, and just run, just run through it, and then be a human and make them laugh, make them feel good about wanting to do some business with you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and you know, I always believe in bringing goodies to them oh, after, no not on the first visit, but no as you begin give. to visit them frequently, bring them something. Okay. Yeah, because they in the trenches. They, they, them women is in the trenches doing that work for the for the part owner. They is in their nitty gritty back and forth. Anytime you can bring some sunshine in the building, man, they they might stop the whole operation to talk to you. I'm telling you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> here you go. Yeah, that's it. What's up? I needed a little quick break. Oh, I brought some don't buy a little drink. Like I'm telling you, I done brought Chick fil A and Bel Air before. To the park managers. Why why so I can be the first person that they'd be like, Yeah, we got uh we got something for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be over, I'll be over, I'll go check it out right now. Mm-hmm. Yep. That makes sense. People like mm -hmm. gifts. Yes, and build a relationship. Mm-hmm. To me, well, you got a question? I don't have a question. I got my questions answered. Okay. Um, they did get pre-approved for that amount. I asked her what bank it was. I'm waiting on that answer. Let's go. She said, she said they live out in the country. That's septic and uh, well. Let's go. And she said that she's leaning more to the new side, but if it's a newer used one, I'm sure she probably would be okay with it. Might as well go new and intercept from the from the manufacturer. Yeah. That is, how much was the pre-approval amount? It was the 286. Ooh. But they didn't want to pay that. They don't want to spend 286. 87 to be exact. 287. And then that last, okay, two, we had the ceiling 286. We'll say 287. And then the the, uh, the last people was trying to sell them for how much? That's that's what the total package would have been. Oh, for everything. Man, you got, man, you got too much room. Oh my gosh. How many acres is it? And ask that. I didn't ask that. Cause if, but it's, see that. See, the thing is, is if if they gonna if they gonna wanna uh, if they wanna throw another one on there, if they wanna go ahead and grab two, you know, grab if they grab two for about two hundred, and then they do the main setup like the septic and the well to handle two of them, they could turn one to a rental. 
or one for uh, another person in the family. But I don't know if they trying to make that spot just their spot. You know, when it comes to home, some people don't, they ain't thinking like that. You know, they just want their spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's one acre. One acre. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would it be in one acre? Um. Now, now you got to ask them what's ideally, how much did they want to spend? That way you can make it happen. Because I, we know you got 287, you want to save money, but realistically, you already at about forty forty thousand dollars worth of uh just getting getting the septic, the well, the found the concrete poured, some landscaping done. You see what I'm saying? So looking at about 170, 180, really, yeah. Um, and then um three bedroom, two bath, single wide would save on it, but they probably gonna want a double wide. Definitely gonna want a double wide. All right, so double wire, you might as well say a hundred. It's a it's a hundred for the double wire. You probably can get a cheaper model for about 80. You probably get a cheaper model for about 80, 20 with the setup, and then um about another 40, 40 to 50 for getting everything ready for septic, well, water, landscape, even all the way down to the damn mulch. You know, there's some trees out there to make it actually look like something. Um okay. So I will be trying to, yeah, I, I'm like you, Dan. Yeah, I'll be trying to push them to be like, yo, listen, I think we could probably get this done for like 170, 180, and that's everything, all the way, like driveway, everything. You see what I'm saying? They got pre-approved for something high, honestly. They must have got that 800 done. And they don't have a lot of debt either, so they debt to income probably raised that up oh, too. Man. Yeah, they're going to be straight. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would say we're looking at about 170 to 180 to 180 to get it done. But before I hit them with an the actual price, I would actually go floor plan for floor plan with Danielle. And then um and then you, you know, she'll send over what it is, and then you send it over to them and let them choose what it would look like. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. um as far as them going to go see a model home or anything like that, I can't honestly say how we're gonna do that. Because if it coming from the manufacturer, you know, yeah, uh, if it's coming from the manufacturer, they probably gonna wanna, they probably gonna wanna see something, even if it's not the exact something comparable. Mm -hmm. As I just know, as a woman, no, I need to see. Yeah, I already know. So, uh, that's that's gonna that's gonna be the big thing right there, um. Now, would they be willing? I'm pretty sure they'd be willing to drive anywhere to go see it, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for so sure. we might we might just have to we might just be going on to a lot and then letting them see it, you know, and let them. Like, we might go to a lot that our, that already have it, but we're getting it for a better price because now we're going straight for, straight from the dealer. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And I do want to let everybody know we're not doing masterclass this week. We're gonna be doing masterclass uh in like the next two weeks, and we'll be doing it with the home with the home insurance uh guy who does mobile home insurance. So uh, we're not doing it tonight. Uh, he actually got sick as hell, and um like he's messed up bad. So um I told him like yo listen man just don't worry about it tonight. You know if you really messed up like that. So I said I'll give you two weeks to get right. So just a little update for everybody. No masterclass tonight. Uh, it'll be in like two weeks. What's going on, Miss Tracy? See, you just popped Hello. in. You been, I'm going I'm to drop the replay in here. You, you, you drop some gems in here now. Wait, I was waiting for the master class. I thought it was a welcome call. It. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the master class will be uh it'll be in two weeks. It'll be with the mobile home insurance guy. We'll definitely make sure y'all know exactly when. Uh he got sick. He got really sick real bad. So I'm sorry. Well, I'll definitely watch the 630 replay. Thanks, Brad. Okay. Any questions? Where you at with your deals right now? How can I help you get through the next step? Tracy. Tracy. That's so funny you said that. I was about to just go <laughs> ahead and chime in. So I don't, you know, I don't have... Oh, okay, I asked my questions in the last one, so I'm actually pretty cool on like where I am with the deals. I have um, two deals, which are the ones I talked to you about or to the group about regarding the older mobile homes, and um, you guys gave me some um, information on what to do with those because there's some title issues. Um, the other deals I have 
which is about one, two, three. They're just coasting, you know, like um, there's nothing really significant with them other than just going through the process. So I'm actually good to go this week. Okay. So you just got some deals coasting right now. No, that's good. Yes. That's good. Yes, absolutely. Yep. And you got them all posted up on Facebook Marketplace? So, you know, my Marketplace is still down. Like, they have taken my access twice this year. And okay. so I went did you through... the band script? Did you use the band yep. script? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been doing that? Say that again, Brad. I'm sorry. How long have you been doing the band script? Um, since you gave me the video on YouTube. So the next day after I did it the first time, they said, nope, we still can't grant your access back. So I continue to do it and I haven't heard anything about the reviews, you know, after I do it every day. So, man, I know what I did the first time, Brad. Like the first time I posted a home and I deleted it right then and then I reposted it and they snatched my access right away yeah this time my account was locked out like my whole account was locked out and when I got back in my account after I verified my account it um my marketplace was gone so like I was like man market Facebook just won't let me be great so I'm still like fighting that so I have Are you my sending the screenshots posted. in with it right Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I ain't gonna lie. The last time I was bad, I, it took me about a week, week and a half now, straight up on the ass every day. Every day. Every day yeah, okay. on the ass every day for at least a good week or two until they revoke that access. Mm -hmm. It worked. It, it'll it work. It seemed like sometimes like, ah, this thing don't work. Eh. I know. But I'm like, telling you, the they gonna, you're gonna wake up one morning and you're gonna be like, yo, I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, it's like um, Christmas it going. when it comes back. So yeah, I have them posted on OfferUp, Let Go, Five Mile, and Craigslist. Uh, and where are your family traction. members at? Where are your family members at, man? So, okay. I have my son um, posting for me. And it was it's okay, but it's like a delay. So I had him responding to everybody saying, hey, yes, it is available. May I have your contact information so that I can provide it to my um, partner, Tracy, so that I, you know, so I could reach out to them. Um, because before we were saying, yes, it's available. Um, you know, do you have any questions? Like he was just answering and he didn't know what to say. So that wasn't working. So I needed to filter it to me. And it's like it was still not really working or my son wasn't. <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to post uh I'm about to post uh my actual script that I use uh whenever I'm writing people back. This is this okay. This this is the this is uh let me go ahead and post it right now while we at it and then I'm then that way y'all can see it. Um, okay. Because what 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 it is is you you overthinking you overthinking the uh the have to let me get in my partner and in my partner. they ain't trying to hear that they they came to right. the place to talk yep. to the one you know yep. Yep. So you got to look at it like, like well, I'm about to show you right now. I'm about to exactly right. show you right now. Exactly how this thing look. And I just posted inside Zoom real quick just so y'all can uh, all see it. But I'm going to put it in the PDF so y'all can. Um, and I always check it up and test it out. So this is like my actual one I use. Just check that inside the, uh, the group right mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, so first thing I ask them is, hey, did you want to rent the own finance or pay cash for the home? Then I hit them with this. This is the second question. Let's get on the phone so I can answer any questions you might have and schedule a tour. Text me your name or just call me. Simple as that. That's what I want to hear whenever I'm uh about to buy something for somebody else. Like, let's go. Yep. No, I feel you. Okay. I'm going to use this for his account and maybe I'll get better traction because not having Facebook Marketplace is is definitely a hindrance. Oh yeah, like and that. The biggest thing I learned is you gotta spend a little money with Facebook too, right? Mm -hmm. So like me, even if I'm gonna spend fifty dollars on a listing, I'm just like right when I post. If I, if I know I got more than three listings up at one time, man, I got mm -hmm. money with Facebook. They feel like I'm winning too much on it. You feel me? 
So what do you do? Like do a campaign on them? No, nah, I just boost it. Just boost it on marketplace. You boost it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just boost it on marketplace. You just boost okay. it on there for fifty for fifty dollars. You know, I mean, for seven mm -hmm. days, like nine dollars, ten dollars. You feel me? The most I ever spent um on Facebook Marketplace was like four thousand dollars in a month, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't make no difference between me spending a hundred. All right, I got you. Cause at the end of the day, a good price home is a good price home, and a it's good, a good price, price home. home. Yeah, it don't even matter. Yeah. But the best the best tips I could give is for the one you may, like if I if I have one house that I know I'm overpricing, I'll spend money on ads on it, right? To get a, a mm -hmm. amount of people. But if I know it's a deal, I'm letting that thing hold off for about a good seven days. You know what I'm saying? I like, okay. I'm gonna let this thing air itself out to the end, and when I start seeing people ain't hitting again, then I'll throw like fifty to hundred dollars on top of it to boost it. Um, Brad, since you said that, let me just throw this out here. So I got a lead yesterday, and I got it under contract. Mm -hmm. It's a seventy-eight two bed, one and a half bath, very, I mean, nice home. I mean, you would not know it was a seventy-eight unless you looked at the roof, <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, in really good condition. Um, the only issues, I mean, there's some wear and tear, right? Like there's some, um, spaces on the floor that like, you know, the linoleum, linoleum. um, is like messed up, you know, it's like original flooring, but it's nothing like any sub flooring issues, no leaking, anything like that. The guy who lived in it though, he passed away and he smoked in the home. So the home has smoke in all the walls, the ceilings and everything, but it's still, I mean, cleaned up. I'm going to send pictures. Um, it looks really nice. So, but they want to sell it right away. So I got them under contract for $1,500. i am thinking about posting. I haven't even posted this one yet. I'm thinking about listing it for like 7000 just to get it sold. Like, what do you think? Um, let me see some pictures. I'll see the pictures. Okay. Can you share your screen right now or are you on the phone? Uh I'm on my phone, but wait, can I do it here? Yeah, you should be oh, I can send them in the chat. I can send them in the chat. All right, hold on. Is it in a park or is it on private land? It is on private land. Ooh. Now who gonna get who but gonna... it has to be moved. It oh, has it to be moved. moved. Yeah, it has to be moved. Anything that gotta be moved. Man, yep. you want to be getting them shits for thirty five hundred, like five thousand. You want to be getting yep. the lowest. How much he selling it to you for? Fifteen hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and make you a quick sixty five hundred. Okay. But, you know, what I mean? listen, somebody gonna have to spend five thousand on it, and then if they got the land, then right. we go back to what we were saying with Tamisha. They gonna have to have the well septic and all that, and then yep. that's, so that's like a specific buyer who getting that, you know, or. Yep. You reach out to all your parks uh, that you ever did any business with, and you ask them, "Do they got any empty lots?" And then you fill mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? I can fill it in. That's and right. They That's the right. Day. They close the next day. Easy. Listen. Uh, okay. Um, the chat is closed, y'all. I can't send them in the chat. It says the chat is you know, turned off. Way, it, like it's so real, we don't even got to see it now, and I know what's okay. going on. Because right. at the end of the day, it could be the best looking thing ever. You want to pass the discount off to somebody else so you can just be focused on your other deals because this right here sounds like it just hit the inbox. If you can make a quick five thousand or four thousand real quick, run that. Run it. Run Got that. It. That's the biggest thing. It's hard. We it's it's so easy to make money with mobile homes. We'll mm -hmm. start getting greedy. Yeah. I mean, personally, done got greedy before. Like, damn, what was I doing? I could have been made five thousand real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting up here trying to make an extra two, three thousand when I need to pass the discount on to somebody else. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need yes. to grab it for fifteen hundred, flip it for forty five hundred. Now that person like, yo, this is a steal. Now you just mm -hmm. need 20, 3500 You can use that towards some ads. You can use that towards some, you know, whatever to fix up the the next property, or you could just tuck that. You know? Mm -hmm. No, I got. You. Especially if it just hit the desk, it's up. Oh, it just hit the desk yesterday, and it was unexpected. It was just a call in the afternoon. And and listen, I know we talked about bandit signs. Y'all, bandit signs is where I get most of my leads. Like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could put out some bandit signs and start getting calls right away, and they're viable leads. But I think it's just my area. Like, it's just my area 
And man, people are selling mobile homes. So it's the band that sounds so cool. And I still market virtually too. So I actually got a call today from a virtual um if some virtual information I put in one of the um groups in this area. So that works too. So it's it's real cool. If anybody's new, market y'all because it works. I agree with Tracy. I'm in North Carolina also. And mm -hmm. I do swear by banded signs. Um for the newbies I've dealt with, I'm like, I encourage them to put those banded signs out. And I guarantee you that week you will get a call. Um, so I get my own leads and I get them for my mobile homes. I would say probably 98% it is banded signs. So I agree yeah. with you. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they're going to call. And then uh, if you ain't got like no yard signs, but whenever you got listings, I'm talking about this thing right here. It's crazy. Like, when you add the QR code with the schedule link, oh, man. I don't know if y'all can even see this. Yeah. Yeah, we can see it, Brad. Where do you have that made? I literally got a, a print broker that I put every single one of y'all on. I okay. put them in here. It's a print broker called Growl. I put it together for y'all and help you out with that. All you need is the design. I made this design literally on Canva. Nice. Okay, cool. Thanks. It took me five minutes to make this. And long and you and, and, and see what I use is a CRM. And I'll put you guys on that if you're ready for it. But it, I feel like you don't need to do a CRM if you ended your first deal. But if you got like four or five deals you got and you got a, a influx of deals coming in, you're gonna need a CRM system, right? And uh I'll show y'all a little bit about that. Um on marketing day, but I'll give y'all a little sneak peek of what it what it's like right now so y'all can just see it. Can y'all see my schedule my screen right now? Yes. All right. So this is a CRM right here. This is my own personal CRM I use for my marketing company that I start using for myself. Right. Um even Danielle Ruffin has this. So basically all my calls like uh let's say let's see today uh this guy right here named Izzy he's supposed to be getting his house from me right boom so it even records my call. You can go ahead and fill out the um you can go ahead and fill out the application and then bring it in okay. with the forty five dollars. That way you you can drop it off after time, they say. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh do all right, just whenever you're ready. All right, let's go. All right, it's gonna be I S. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So I can go back and listen to my conversations. I do got a a virtual assistant too. So she was handling a call today. Um, it was one of these calls that she did today. Usually this thing is just going off the charts. It's crazy. Uh, she did a call today and uh, she basically is the same thing. I could listen in to her and she do a whole bunch of follow-up every day on all my bad other leads. So what I could do is I could come in here and I can uh I got these people, I got these people locked in by like this, like um, like by the city, like Spartanburg. So like just in Spartanburg, I could shoot out a blast message to everybody in Spartanburg with the new deals that I got. You see what I'm saying? So I literally everybody who I get from Facebook, I save them in here, right? And then now I don't got now before I even post my deals on Facebook. I send it to them first. Send it to them. Yep. Yes. And then it got your different calendars on here and all type of stuff, man. It's a it's a whole it's a whole thing. But you gotta be ready for this. You know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing that you wanna be spending money money monthly on and, and you not and you not see like this how many this how many tours that I'm doing like every 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 like this is just this past month. I'll show you what the what this month looked like. Look at that. That's how many people going on tours of different properties that I got. Then last month. Last month was freaking crazy. But you see, you keep it keeps score, it keep it keep it keep everything together. And that's the VA. It it lets you know how many all the stuff go to me though. So she really just answered the phone call and go to her phone and forward it to her phone, and it's and it's easy. It just make it where I just I'm just a closer all day, right? So I can focus on what we're doing right now, you know, with the, the group and stuff like that. 
but what I just wanted to at least show y'all like real insight. Like, yo, this is like the next step once you actually get your deals done that you want to have, you want to have an actual system that you sitting up here doing. Like, so you see, she wrote, she wrote her, sent her video tours and she's writing back. So, but yeah, whenever you guys, I feel like the best time to do this is after you do about a good two, two to maybe like four deals. I'll say about four deals. You want to do about four deals and then you want to start getting your, 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 your vibe in order. It's like, all right, listen, I know I'm getting two, three new houses a month to sell or two or I'm got or I'm going to buy maybe a house or two a month that I'm going to try to rent out vice versa. So I just wanted to put y'all on game on that. That's called a CRM. And I literally Brad, can you send me the information on it? Um, I'm like, I need it. I've been using Trello and Trello just does not flow um, that way. And I find myself like not not getting the most out of it. So any um the information on your CRM would be appreciated. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll jump on a we can jump on a one on one call and I uh we'll we'll get you started on it for sure. Okay, and cool. I got I got it all the way set up for how it needs to be set up for mobile home investing. But like I said, it ain't it to right it ain't worth it if you ain't done your a couple deals yet. You better off using your phone and getting them in there. But it ain't nothing like building that database. I got ten thousand people in that database. In the area, so I'm sending I'm sending out hot pockets. It's like a video game. They come in unread. I be like, you want to get a tour? Yes, 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 yes. Then she'll book the tour. 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 You see what I'm saying? Nice. Yes. Well, yeah, man. Um, any other questions that y'all could think of? I think this was a great one. Anybody want to do any more role play? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Anybody uh, want to do any role play? I think Tamisha, you up? You 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 get any any answers back? Um, hold on, I'm doing like a million things. Yeah, time. yeah. You zooming? You driving? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My grandbaby that came to see me. Hold on. <laughs> no, she hasn't. Um, I asked her about the lender. Oh, she said, I did ask her how much did she want to spend? Like, where did she want her monthly payment to be? Um, and she told me 1200 Okay. And that right there going, that, so yeah, really, the, we just got to find out from the lender. Um, find out from the lender, because after you find out who the lender is, I'm going to see if my lender can take their pre-approval and use it with one of their loan products. You see what I'm saying? And if they can't do that, then we got to get in touch with her lender and let her know that we facilitating the deal. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's gonna be the next move. And then um, you get with Miss Ruffin, so y'all can start coming. Y'all can start coming up with uh some floor plans to shop to them that might already be somewhere where y'all can take her in person to go look at it. You know. Now. Yeah. The thing about with them, with the dealer, they might they gonna have bigger prices or, or whatever, but um. You gonna have to you gonna have to facilitate you gonna have to facilitate the move too. You feel me? You jumping in the game head first. I ain't even gonna lie, but it, it's a, it's easy though. Is once you got the right mover, you 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 good to go. You know, and right. then finding a setup crew that's like finding a sil a silver engineer. Really, some of the mobile home movers do the setup too. So we're gonna get right. you, you just you just post. Uh, just post um inside the group so we can you know we can stay on to on topic of this topic right here. All right, and then I, I got another the question. Polk County land deal, and then say this is what I figured out, and then now we can just every day just keep jumping on top of that thing until it lands. Okay. All right. Um, one other thing I wanted to ask because I think the property is next door to her mom and them. Mm hmm. And so my question is, and this is just because I don't know nothing about nothing. Um, there's no way she could tap into their system. Oh yeah, I mean, if she, you talking about her? You know, the next door is septic. Like say yeah, like say her mom and them next door. No. I okay. mean, they could do what they call a septic expansion, and she got to apply for that at the county zoning. And that's what the neighbors would have to do. And then they they'll come out there and see if her septic is allowable to do that. And then she gonna have to kind of she gonna probably have to give some money towards um she gonna have to give some money towards uh towards them because that she might need to help them with snaking it out 
or you know, um, just making sure she might have to handle half of the maintenance now. You see what I'm saying? Which I don't think will be a problem. But it's no, because it's, it's yeah, it's her mom and dad's property. Oh yeah, well yeah, they, they gotta apply for a septic expansion and then they'll be able to tie it into it for sure. Septic expansion uh, at Polk County, you just go down to Columbus, matter of fact, and uh, it's seventy five dollars. I actually got one of those uh, sheets over here somewhere. Septic yeah, she, said, she also she just let me know um, that there was four different lenders, and she said when she get home she'll let me know exactly. Okay, cool. So yeah, okay, it makes sense. They just they just shopped her. They just shopped her her uh, application out to everyone and seen what they would do for. Them. Yeah, we'll go we'll go step by step with it. All right. That's a window right there for sure. All right. Anybody All right. got any more questions? I want to hyperventilate right now, but okay. <laughs> oh no, nah, yeah, you 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 got you something good. I'm trying to tell you. I'm laying home pad right. right where is that? Tell me. Especially when you got the dealer on your on your on your side. Usually the dealer against you. That's the lie. Mm -hmm. They don't know you. But you with us, so you we're gonna pass the discount over. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. All right. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else got any more questions? About to be 8 o'clock. I ain't in no rush. Just let me know if you got any questions. Y'all looking good? Sean, what's up, man? I see you in the building. Well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and lock it out from right there. Um, like I said, everybody, just stay on top of posting. Stay on top of marketing. Tracy, just hit me up. We'll go ahead and set up a day. We can go ahead and get you started on the um, CRM. I know you're about ready for that. Um, Janice, you keep us updated on um, on how that uh, on how it went with the park, with the parks and stuff like that. And everybody tonight, just drop your gems inside the gym tab before you get to doing what you're doing tonight. Just go to the school and drop whatever gems you got today inside the gyms tab so everybody can be locked in and I'll even uh I threw the Facebook marketplace inbox script for better conversion in there and plus um I'll shoot the replay I'll, I'll add the replay to this so everybody can rewatch it so if everybody could do that solid drop your gems that you learned tonight in inside the school all right under the gyms tab all right. Well, everybody, I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all know Brad don't eat after 7 o'clock. I just left from the gym. And I'll see y'all soon. Go get y'all something good. All right. Good night, y'all. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Big Sean, not the rapper. What's up, boy? Oh, boy, at work. Yes, sir. You good? I think. Hey, give me a, give me a call when you get off. Give me a call when you get off, brother. <laughs>